Today's subject is going to be about can I teach my dog to guard a staircase or stairwell? So, yes, when you teach anything of guarding behaviors. So, for example, here, Rocco, same dog, holds his owner's legs. So, it's a guarding behavior still while she's standing. He holds her going backwards. <laughs> or her on the floor, same thing. Circle behavior, cut me off from her. Not let me in until the timing is perfect that I come in and I'm the aggressor. <laughs> Teaching a dog, this Rottweiler, we taught him how to get on this bucket and when we put him on the bucket, the owner goes away and the dog is on his own now to guard that bucket. No. Good. Perfect. If they can hold these things and be emotional, it's the highest form of self-control and discipline and fluency, right, that we have in the dog world. So with the Rawar here, he's not allowed to bite or come off until there's a reach down for the bucket. Good. Perfect. And perfect timing, knowing as close as a decoy is, the rah rah threatening, but the moment that reach comes, bam oh, perfection and timing. The self control of the dog's mind and keeping aggression and self discipline of the exercise at the same time, of the dog knowing and waiting for the perfect timing to do this. There's a lot in the dog going on and has to override and be a thinker, not a complete emotional, right, wreck, time bomb. It's all disciplined with an emotional aggressive state of mind. Right, so there you see Rocco. We taught him how to hold in front of there. Right there and not to leave that space. Unless me there, I'm the, the aggressor, I come and I go at him, he's allowed to break that space and attack. 
Otherwise, he's got to hold down in there and not go attack until the threat is coming in, right? So the timing of it is very important, teaching the dog the rules of when they're allowed to come out of that zone. So here you see also I'm, I'm taunting him with the stick. Right? That sound of the stick makes dogs go crazy. And my movements back and forth, I'm trying to lure him out of the zone to make a mistake, right? But he did not fall for it. That is a dog who knows his stuff. So that is how we test the dog, right? By adding stimulation to make him crazy, right? If somebody broke into the house, they wouldn't be having anything of sound going and taunting a dog, right? So I'm putting him through a max of pressure, sound stimulation to make him lose his mind and lose concentration on the task he's performing and trying to get him to lose focus on the understanding of how to hold the position, right? So this is how you proof a dog. So, and because of this, it was very easy to teach him because he already knew other guarding behaviors and how to hold himself in check and not let his emotions get the best of him. So this is the ultimate in discipline and self-control.